Rising Film Evaporator. Rising Film Evaporator system includes a steam inlet, liquor inlet, a chamber containing tubes that steam passes through, and a cyclone separator. Its theory is that vapour travelling faster than the liquid flows in the core of the tube, causing the liquid to rise up the tube in a film. When it occurs, the liquid film is highly turbulent and high heat transfer rates are realised. The liquor to be evaporated is introduced into the bottom of the tube, a film of liquid forms on the walls and raises up the tubes, hence the title Climbing Film Evaporator. Heat is transferred to the liquor from the walls and boiling begins, eventually sufficient vapour has been formed for the smaller bubbles to unite to a large bubble, filling the width of the tube and trapping a slug of liquid above the bubble. As more vapour is formed, the slug of liquid is blown up the tube. The tube is filled with vapour while the liquid is spread as a film over the walls. This film continues to vaporise rapidly, the vapour escaping up the tube, and because of friction between the vapour and liquid, the film also is dragged up the tube. At the upper end, the mixture of vapour and concentrated liquor enters a cyclone separator, the vapour passing on to a condenser and the concentrate to a receiver. Climbing film evaporator has many advantages. The high film velocity reduces boundary layers to a minimum giving improved heat transfer. The use of long narrow tubes provides large areas for heat transfer. And because of the increased efficiency of heat transfer, short contact time between liquor and heating surface, a small temperature difference is sufficient with less risk of damage to thermolabel materials. One disadvantage of the machine is that it is difficult to clean and maintain, since replacement of the tubes requires a headroom clearance of further 7 metres.